Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 32. The year is 2520. And our empire looks like this. So, we went to war last time with the Photician Mediators and Awakened Empire and then there was a, some war exhaustion and they called a truce. At 2527, we'll be able to attack them again, so I'm in the process of trying to build up my fleets to make that happen. And at the same time, rolling through the various <coughs> systems to get them upgraded. So here we are, we're gonna go, we're gonna roll through all of these and get them upgraded. What I like to do with gene clinics is replace them with strongholds when the planet starts to get uh, to a certain point of population. We're at 866 for consumer goods and lagging slightly behind in alloys. Food is low at 361, so I'm going to need to do some food things as we go, but right now the, the main issues are this. And as far as specialties go, we're at 22 for volatile motes, 34 for exotic gases, which is good, and 12 for rare crystals, which is not. So I'm going to put an alloy factory down here and then a couple of synthetic crystal plants in that world to put some people to work. This is all just about trying to get these people to work. Two unemployed there. Upgrade that will take care of them. This planet's at 90. It's basically full. Um, this upgrade here... I think if we just put a synthetic crystal plant down and tell this planet to stop growing, uh, we'll be all right there. Same thing with this planet. It's at 116. They still have 24 available housing left. Now, each one of these upgrades is going to provide three more jobs, three more jobs. This one can actually be upgraded to uh, six more jobs. So there's, that would certainly take care of all that housing there. Uh, so I think the smart thing to do here is, again, discourage planetary growth and then do something like that and give people jobs. This planet has its, its growth discouraged. You can see it over there. That's a little icon. Unfortunately, they use the exact same icon for uh, turning off robot assembly. And I wish they would differentiate between the two, but make it easier to see. Uh, so this planet is doing that. So some of these planets are, are getting to the point where they're basically done. Um, this one, again, same kind of deal. I don't want to discourage. I, th I don't want to discourage planetary on growth until that gets to 80. At 80, you can make this last upgrade happen. You can see at the bottom it says number of pops is greater than or equal to 80. I like to get all my planets to 80, and then depending on, on how many jobs and how, how much housing is left, start to discourage growth. In this case. Uh, even upgrading this, I think we still need another luxury residence here because their housing is so low. And uh, then we can upgrade all the rest of these jobs. So we're going to keep an eye on that one for a little This one's done. Um, you can see there's three housing. There's five pops here. The planetary growth is turned off. And they don't have, <coughs> they don't have a lot of amenities. Why is that? Soldier workers, they don't have enough amenities. Do I not have a, uh, I don't have a holo theater on this planet, do I? So that's a case where I want to take a job like this, synthetic crystal plants, which is only one job, and I'm going to replace it with holo theaters, which can be upgraded. Um, and so that'll take some of these five people and put them to work and also start shifting some of these amenities over. Um, they do have commerce, commerce megaplexes, so. Here is a planet that has one person unemployed, but it's a specialist, so that's a little different. Um, but upgrading this will take care of that. We'll hire that person. This, again, it's a 78. As soon as it gets to 80, I think we're done. They only have four housing left, though, so I'm going to have to put luxury residences down there. Here's another one of these planets getting close to being very, very done. Um, taking a look at what's here. I could try to fill out the rest of these with minerals and not use this housing, but given how many upgrades there are here, I'm hesitant to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is just 
upgrade a couple of these buildings and keep a keep an eye on that one. This one's out of housing and we've only used two city districts because we used this all for mining. So at this point in time I'm gonna take this gene clinic clinic and replace it with luxury residences and upgrade that luxury residence and then um, put some more people to work there. Here's a planet that's just running out of housing. So again luxury residences because we don't have any more city districts to use. Here is this world, just needs more people put to work. So we'll upgrade that and that'll take care of that. Trappist 4 needs more people put to work. It's got 9 housing left, so we're getting <coughs> pretty close in the bouncing act here, and we're 6 away from 80 and being able to upgrade that. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Apologies, there was a sneeze coming on. Allergies, folks. They stink. Uh, this planet has 10 unemployed people, and if I if I take these, which have 5 artisan jobs, and upgrade them to 8, and I take these, which have 5, and upgrade them to 8, that takes care of 6 people, but it still doesn't take care of everyone. So I'm going to do this and add another one right there. And they're sneaking up on 80, but they're not there yet. This planet has 13 people unemployed, so even upgrading both of these is not going to take care of that. You can see I've used none of the city districts because this planet uniquely had all of these mining districts, and I just wanted to use them all up. So we have, we've had to use a lot of luxury housing on this planet. And Magum, same kind of deal. There's a whole bunch of districts we can still build over here because there's a ton of city districts left. So to put people to work, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab the rest of the generator districts. And then I'm going to grab one more city district, and then we'll see how the rest of it shakes out. So that's that. That's a run through of all of our stuff. I need to take a look at all of my star bases are proper. Down here we have some piracy going on, like right there. Uh, Debris analyzed. And why is this? Oh, these aren't connected now. Why are they not connected? Okay, we're going to connect these. We're going to connect this one. Construction complete. And connect this one. Special project complete. Okay, now let's see. So that happens. So we have this piracy here. So I'm going to stop this because what I want to do right here, and this is because all this got wiped out by the crisis, and so um, we have to rebuild things here. I have to get a constructor back to work. He's not doing anything right now. So, but I grabbed all these systems back. They were all empty. So while he's doing this, I'm going to put him to work building the mining stations along the way. And the research stations. So we're back in position where we can build star bases now in these systems to get this trade back. So what I want to look at is this, and I want to see what my star bases are at. There's also this planet over here, the tropical world. Hell yeah, I'm going to colonize this thing. Colonize with my people, not you aliens. These are all the different vuluses now. What is this? Pop growth from immigration resettlement costs. Leader lifespan, army damage, physics research, leader experience gain, worker basic research output. I'm gonna pick that guy. VA, so 5A. Okay, you're gonna colonize that planet because it's gonna be right along this major trade route, so it might as well be there. So, what I wanna do is, I wanna do a starbase right here. And this is my labeling scheme. So I'm going to put two hangers, maybe three on that guy. Same thing over here. Two hangers here. So, they'll, so they'll, the hangers will end up overlapping. <coughs> which will give us some trade protection. Um, and then the rest, of course, is Anchorage, which helps with our ships. 
it's not going to be ideal because there's so much trade coming through these systems late game that uh, even hangar protection isn't really going to do much for you. But Special project complete. I can at least look at this now. Magum. What's going on with Magum? Let's see. Magum. Where's Magum? See, because right here complete. we have one of these situations where there's there's 362 trade going through there, and I only have complete. two protections. So I this little Nova has to go in complete. there and and knock down that trade. All right, so let's go back to Magum. Magum's trade is going through there. Construction Look, complete. see, there's 1,204 piracy going through there. Research complete. The only way to really knock that down permanently there is is uh, to station a ship there, which could be done if I want to spend my last starbase and build a shipyard there. Armor hit points plus five percent. Heck yeah. It's a long way off though, this one's shorter. I'm gonna take this. <clears throat> this right here, yeah, I'm gonna build this Starbucks up. Construction complete. So we'll do that one, and we may even put a, a thing there for a ship to rest. Pirate sighted. Yeah, and engaged. it just so happens that our guy, our Ether Hatchling's right there. Is he gonna survive? Construction complete. A question. Labor overseers report a disturbing de development among our robotic workforce two weeks ago at roughly 0300 hours. Robotic worker A5091B paused in the middle of his designated task. Approaching the Obskite 3, night shift foreman and uttering the following query. Is unit A5091B in possession of a soul? <laughs> okay. Have the affected units deep scrubbed or assure the robots they too have souls? I've never seen this before, so I'm going to assure them they have souls and see what happens. <laughs> that sounds fun. Hey! Hey, Ether Hatchling! Oh no! I think our Ether Hatchling. Oh, Station he died. Under attack. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to send my immature specimen after it then. Construction complete. So we'll start start dealing with this trade route because it's this just lost stuff. Going through. This is construction complete. People dying. This is people dying. Is what this is. Sign a governor. Trade capital close. Recruit a governor. Who do I want? Huh? I'll grab the intellectual. All right. So when you get this much trade going through a particular hub, um, there's not much you can do about that. There's, there's no um, there's no amount of hangers in here that's going to that's going to stop that. So, all right, amateur specimen is destroyed a pirate station. Now what I'm going to do is make him patrol from there to there. Minor mandate fulfilled. The president finally got something they wanted. All right, let's go back to these guys. You need hangar bay and an upgrade. Order restored on Trappist. Hangar bays. Upgrade. Hangar bays. Upgrade. This one's still upgrading. And then let's take a look at fleets right here. So all these fleets up there. There's Rodent's fleet. Okay, how many are supposed to be in Rodent's fleet? I've got a whole thing set up. 150 of 160. Ooh. So you can actually have more. Well, I'm just going to make it easy and give them some more Corvettes. Alright, grab that. Upgrade. Construction complete. Construction complete. Banners. Fleet. Construction complete. You can do that. Roger's fleet. Roger's fleet is this. Oh, I gotta go back. Rodent's fleet. Where's Roger's fleet? The core, Banner's fleet, Roger's fleet, right there, 158. So I'm, this is all bumped up. I had all these fleets planned for 160. I'm gonna give him another one of those and another destroyer. 
where am I at? I'm at 7.4k, so what would it take? Okay, upgrade. <clears throat> so just really just trying to get all my fleets maximized. Because we know Construction the enemy complete. is coming. Construction we have to complete. be ready. People dying. Detheris. Clear blocker cost is not necessary. So when it comes to leader lifespan, grab the youngest one. These guys, we got We got to be ready to go over here. And so this reminds me, um, I'm going to need people. I'm going to need more warriors. This one right here. I'm going to put crew quarters. Hey, anger bays upgrade. So where was my planet? <clears throat> that was this one right here. Construction complete. Trappist. Automated work processes. Unplanned surplus of robotic workforce units has been located planet side. Hmm. So additional laborers. This gain two robot robot pops and gives a modifier happiness minus five percent. Or we can just get it out a hundred minerals. No, we'll take we'll take the robots. That's fine. Trappist right here is just about done. It's a 75. Colonization uh, in progress. I'm gonna give them alloy factories. Put some people to work there. I need to go through my cities again. This one has blockers that can be cleared. Goodness gracious. That'll help. And put another person to work here. Do you have a ministry of production? You do not. You can have one. This one can have its capital upgraded. Let's run through these real quick here. I'm going to start adding governors to all these. Leader lifespan. So here you can upgrade. Here you can upgrade. All these upgrades help put people to work. Upgrade. Upgrade. More room. Upgrade. Oh, so many of these places are getting close to being done. It's kind of going to be really nice. How are we looking here? 12 still for rare crystals. So we're going to catch up on that. We're over a thousand now on consumer goods, which is great. Everybody's got all the Walmart goods that they could possibly want. This planet has had its... Oh, that's the one we rebuilt and upgraded, so that's cool. This one gets that upgraded. This gets... so oh, this has a whole bunch of stuff here. This is great. Alright, put you to work then. Alright, so what I wanted to do was make more. Trappist has, um, <clears throat> on the planet... Let's see, this planet right here, I put an M, because they have a military academy. So this is one of the places that I want to make armies from. And what do I have? Robot assault arms. So I just want them to start cranking out armies. These cost money and up upkeep, of course, but we're okay because we're making 2K now. But up here, I wanted to do the same kind of thing. Um, these two planets right here, Durgasa. Let's see, what's Durgasa got going on? We have more than enough of this. <clears throat> so I am going to replace that with a military academy on Durgasa. And same thing right here. This planet, Madagur. They're done, aren't they? They're completely built. So I can't really do it on that planet. I could. I could replace the Hall of Judgment. But it's in five enforcer jobs. So mm, I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave that one the way it is. So on Durga, on Durgasa. I was going to build this. Meanwhile, I want it to start cranking out. More armies. We're going to need them. What's to say? It says... 
The half Regarian species can only support 21 assault armies in your empire. Panzies. I'm sure that's based on some kind of population, though. I haven't ever actually looked into it. It just seems logical. So. Construction complete. Here are some other planets that need to continue getting more jobs. So we're going to do that. Just keep knocking them down as they as they come up. But the big thing is to get the fleets. We're at 25, 24, so in three more years we can... There will probably be war. They will probably declare war on us um, before we even have to declare it on them. So here is the classes one fleet I've, I've taken to renaming these fleets um, in particular after after uh, oops home of their own the robot workers have resisted an influx of Lewis Empire laborers claiming resident geothermic instability in the region has made the area unsafe for organic habitation oddly enough our planetary surveys have not been able to confirm these claims why would a robot lie Robot integration tensions modifier added. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Production quota surpluses. So I've taken to uh, renaming these as uh, Avengers fleets because <laughs> construction cause I'm a dork that way. Falcon's fleet is set up for 139 of 160. So let's give you a few more of these uh, Lance ones and oh yeah, give me these. Two of those, then you can have another cruiser. There you go. Alright, your job now is to how what is it gonna cost you to upgrade? I don't care. Start upgrading. <laughs> I mean not upgrade, start filling out your fleet. <coughs> Everybody needs their fleets filled out, so which means we need as much as possible of that of alloys. So <coughs> come down here in the market and buy them. Okay, what do we have here? One of these. Construction Which complete. Which one is? They're all up here. Okay, it's all. Up. All right. Construction complete. Okay, I do a little bit better job of keeping track on my planets and uh, making sure that they get upgraded properly. Oh, oh, and there's a uh, world. Construction complete. That has had a. Uh, uh, not a world, complete. a uh, mega structure. A gateway has been opened. This is this is the problem with awakened empires is they start building gateways everywhere, which gets to be really annoying. Glugash, you can have leader lifespan guy. So where they build the gateway, the Photician meters have completed a gateway in the Bokramar system. Which just sucks, because then uh, it's right there, because then they start, you know, going around all the other gateways, and it, it makes it harder to contain them when you're trying to go to war with them, but it's okay. Construction complete. We're not going to panic. This is Construction stuff complete. we've done before. All right, and we have complete. a number of... Okay, let's look at some stuff here. Fotishian Mediator. We have our guys who we're eventually going to have to go to war with, the people in our federation, because we're, you know, we want to conquer the galaxy. So, uh, and the rest of it, the purple ones, these guys here are traitors. Traitors, they're different traitors. So I don't think they, I don't think anything can be done about integrating them. Tell us more about your troop. Hope you found an art college. So, <coughs> different stuff like that. Construction complete. What you can do with the world really comes down to how much housing you can get on it. Oops. What do we have here? I have two of five in diplomacy. So I'm going to do that because that will get me another ascension perk a little faster. How are we looking up here? 
Still 12 for rare crystals and volatile motes are now down as well. Okay. This planet doesn't have enough amenities. Well, that's kind of sad. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Construction complete. This one. How's this looking? Put those people to work. Complete. Give me some chemical plants. Colony established. All right, our colony's up. What do we have here? We got a whole bunch of food. Is what we got. Wow, we got a ton of food. All right, we got a ton of food. This is a big, huge food world. This is gonna be great. Decisions. Let's do some immigration push. Grab some people from everywhere else. Construction complete. Ish. Research complete. Research complete. Fleet command limit 20. Oh, that's great. That makes our fleets bigger. Awesome. Um, what's small? What's not going to take forever to research? Oh, let's get heritage site out of there. I never use that, but... Alright, more. Okay. So in that case, let's take a look at our fleets. Getting close to the end of the episode. Let's see where we're doing here. You, I'm going to put three hangers on these and then anchorage. I'm just going to give a little bit more overlap. On those. Then I want to take a look at my fleets. Where are we at here? 180 now is what we can do with these. Okay, great. Well, upgrade and then let's get you built, Black Widow's fleet. Oh my goodness, I hate that. I just hate that. I hate you click on something. And you say, take me to this fleet manager for that fleet, and the first time it doesn't do it, and it requires two more tries. Lance, Arc, Mega Cannon. Alright. So that's Black Widow's fleet. Where's Rodent's fleet? Same deal, let's get you more of these. Mega Cannon, Mega Cannon, Cruiser, alright, that, who else, the core, upgrade, Mega Cannon, Lance, Arc, Cruiser, Destroyer, alright. We're down. We're, we're out of alloys. So that's that's the upgrading we have. Complete. What is this station right here? That is a shipyard. This is Boy Station. Construction complete. Okay, I want to make a note here. I want you guys to go to Boy Station. I want everybody on Boy Station because it's closer to the enemy. Then I want all you guys to move. That's interesting. Or however you would actually pronounce that. <laughs> I'm gonna say B O Y. I don't. I don't know. And he's already assigned to B O Y station. Great. Okay. Um, Stark's fleet upgrade. So we'll move you guys here real soon. This is gonna be the end of this episode. So this is where we're at. This is what's going on. 25-26 war is going to happen in a year. In fact, I think it was 25-27-09 when, when uh, it could happen. So folks, thanks for sticking with me. As always, if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a question or a comment, drop it down below. I will do my best to respond. And I will see you next time.